Memorial weekend is here and the start to summer has begun, which means crowds are flocking to our waterways to cool off. And more mosquitoes making their way into the region. Experts warn a summer surge in the insects could be dangerous. Thanks for joining us here for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Hunter Sowards and I'm Marley Ginter. Vector Control stressing the importance of protecting yourself this summer. So we're getting answers on a new technique to help fight the bite. As people head outdoors this warm holiday weekend, there's concern many could get bit by mosquitoes. I think they're really aggressive this year. They they bite me all the time. They're in the house, they're outside, they're everywhere. Ariana Norman says she already has several itchy bites. Them two little dots right there. And it promises to be a very busy season. Mosquito control officials say we could see more insects this summer because of the late spring storms. That combination of the rain and the, the, uh, the rain and the hot temperatures is what creates the ideal mosquito breeding conditions. Sacramento is seeing a sharp increase in the number of people diagnosed with West Nile virus, which is is transmitted by mosquitoes. Last year, there were 53 human cases compared to just five the previous year, and hundreds more may have gone undiagnosed. The Rosemont neighborhood in Sacramento County has been a hot spot in the last year for a species of non-native mosquitoes that bite during the day and pose a significant health threat. They have the capability of transmitting several diseases such as the Zika, Dengue, Chikungunya, diseases that we don't typically see here. The Mosquito District is considering a new plan to eliminate the pests. It actually involves letting loose thousands Thousands of male mosquitoes that have been sterilized with radiation and don't bite. They'll then mate with the females and then the progeny is no good because the males are sterilized. The district says similar programs have been successful in Fresno and parts of Southern California. We think that it's going to be a very viable opportunity um, possibly this year or hopefully next year. Well, I hope they did the math right on that one uh, and we don't end up with some little Godzilla mosquitoes. <laughs> Oh, makes me itchy just looking at it, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, officials say people should drain any stagnant water sources in their yards, wear mosquito repellent when going outdoors, of course. Yeah. Good tips there. And West Nile virus is in the same category of those diseases you heard mentioned, Zika and yellow fever. Some symptoms include fever, headache, and body aches. In rare instances, it can attack the nervous system, causing meningitis and encephalitis. There is no treatment for West Nile virus or Zika. Symptoms can only be managed.